You underestimate me You want this flash Or check the splash in the pan One hit wonder, two hit wonder It's no wonder why you don't last You go for the fame, you go for the cash Hi, I'm Christiana Dini and uh, I get to play my songs from my first solo effort, Luckily of the Ecliptic, with phenomenal friends and musicians, and I get to sing with my best friend, Fat Man D, who you may also know. Yeah, my name is Fat Man D, and I'm a jazz singer. When Christiana told me she was going to relaunch her solo career and start doing this new body of work, I said, well, you know, I'd love to sing back up for you. I think it's uh, the experience of how surreal reality can be. Um, as I was talking about the glass ceiling song, the chorus is about the actual experience of walking out probably 10, 12 years ago and seeing, like stepping over dead birds, like they were just falling out of the sky. But then the song kind of also became this rallying cry for anyone who's dealing with a glass ceiling over their head. They can only go up so high, so it's about smashing those glass ceilings. So just the meanings kind of um, overlap and become something completely different. It's what you need to do, lick my boots. So today was super positive. There were yeah. lots of different kinds of people, obviously different people cultures. People stayed. People listened and enjoyed. So I had a great time. Me too. Turning my soul into rocket fuel. I'm in the process right now of working on the second solo record. Uh, it's called Amor Fati, so I'm dividing roughly 20 songs into four future albums. And so maybe I'll probably be on that too. I tend to tell stories tend to kind of be in the empathic role of a storyteller. And now these days are very much about the things I've been through and uh, difficult. So the album <laughs> will probably come with uh, Kleenexes and garlic and salt, but it's kind of spooky. <laughs> Emotional ghost stories. You haven't got a clue on your knees, yo. I think the biggest struggle is that American culture doesn't really uh, appreciate art enough to give it the support that it warrants. Um, they love to listen to it, they love to see it, they love to attend it, but when it comes to uh, individual giving and supporting it and making sure uh, different cultural institutions stay alive, and we're in such a celebrity-driven culture, like the, people forget that all, about all the other artists out there, so the respect isn't always there. Everything else is kind of... I am in a great community. I have great people I can collaborate with. I enjoy, like it's in my blood to do, so... But that would probably be the biggest thing. You need to be organized. You need to be professional. You need to... And you also need to be, you know, yourself and artistic. And being artistic means you're pulling something deep from within yourself, which isn't necessarily packaged in a clean way that is appropriate for the American marketplace. Don't drive around. I don't need a car to ride. A lot of logical things tell me that I probably shouldn't do this, right? But I have to do it. It's, uh, I've been doing it since I like probably came out of the womb. Uh, it's not that I don't know how to do anything else. I am just driven to do it. I feel compelled to communicate artistically. It comes to you and me.